Good evening, folks. Tonight we're addressing two interesting questions that spun out of the recent story of the second galactic magnetic reversal witnessed by astronomers. The questions were about the scale of the reversal and then the impact on the galactic current sheet rotation and other dynamics. First, there was a good question about whether the core magnetic reversal witnessed by astronomers was confined to that interior region of the galaxy or if it was one of full scale size in the galaxy. Well, that depends on what you're actually asking. While it is doubtful that everything in the galaxy had a magnetic reversal at the same time, the giant galactic magnetic fields that thread the entire galaxy, both from the polar torus shape and those threading interstellar space in the disk, both are driven and generated by the core in the center. So it's hard to imagine those larger scale fields weren't affected by what happened in the middle. And so, depending on what you're asking about, yes, this was a full galactic magnetic reversal, but no, that doesn't mean everything in the galaxy, like all the stars and planets, also had a flip. The next question was about the impact of this magnetic reversal on the rotation of the galactic current sheet, and that's where this gets interesting, because the key observation was an actual reversal of the inner torus and disk, where the current sheet is generated. And so, it's hard to imagine that if the current sheet looked like this before, spinning, say, counterclockwise, then it should switch to a clockwise spin in an abrupt, jerk-like event. Now this is very different than what we're used to. Take the sun. While its coronal holes and the leading sunspot polarity do flip, flip hemispheres every 11 years when its magnetic reversal occurs. That's the sunspot cycle. But the star doesn't change its rotation. And the same is true of the Earth. Even for those who take our minority view that Earth's hemispheres will swap in a tilt during the disaster cycle, the rotation doesn't change relative to the solar system. So that's a key difference here. The disk in those distant galaxies did indeed reverse their spin, and so the current sheet probably would have to as well. As for how bad that would be, well, if just interacting with the sheet is the cause of the recurring disaster cycle, then a jerk-like directional shift would probably be horrendous. Good news as always for me, right? See you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.